commemorate the festival of Hanukkah. Right, okay. And, um, you know, which is a festival around issues of persecution, um, resistance, and freedom, which, you know, is really not a seasonal um, right. <laughs> construct. <laughs> right. And um, so some of the songs are hundreds and hundreds of years old, okay. coming from communities in the Middle East and uh, Jewish communities in the Balkans and the Iberian Peninsula in uh, and moving throughout history up until uh, our final song on the CD, which is an original, brand new song. Um, but many of, some of these songs, I would say, are short um, or really have their structural um, composed line, and we are always very heavy on improvisation, hmm. but just on all of our recordings, but what Yale did specifically with this was really create formal arrangements, sometimes composing um, ancillary material to make the songs fuller and longer and give us more of a pad for exploring, which we do. Mm-hmm. Are are these songs that you um, are you going to be playing them or touring with this uh, specifically, or do these get mixed into the other things that you do? How, how will you be presenting this to the listening audience? Well, ideally, we'd love to tour, uh, playing you know all the tunes on this uh, album with the band, and and we hope do we have. Uh, played a couple times uh what we just recently did in san diego we played a full concert with them uh and also in germany we we played with the the ensemble um but some of the tunes yeah they're just good tunes um and uh we'd be silly not to play them i i, I a, a good song is a good song it can't just be played for you know the four weeks that we consider the holiday right season. yeah, yeah. Uh, so i will definitely play many of them at different times of, of the year, uh, and and hopefully with members of this, of um, the uh, you know as we call it the broken consort, Yale Strong's broken consort, but even with Hapastrami, you know, um, so yeah, so we'll definitely be playing these uh, around the world <clears throat> for as long as we keep playing music. And are these performed in in Yiddish or American or a combination? When when you do them live, will they be all in an, in a native yeah. tongue? Yeah. All yeah. of the above, yes. Yeah, I okay. mean, so songs are, so the original lyrics of some songs are in, are in Yiddish, and so Elizabeth sings in Yiddish. Some are in Ladino, which is a, the language of the Jews of the Iberian and North African uh, region, and she sings those, and then there's a song in Hebrew, and there's some in English as well. So uh, she sings in all those languages. Um, so there's one original song called A Fool Over Yonder, uh, in English, just like the title is, uh, a a Hanukkah song with very, uh, uh, very broader themes, broader know, themes, broader, <laughs> yeah, broader <laughs> themes dealing with society, dealing with uh -huh. politics, dealing with our communities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. And then there's uh, there's actually one instrumental piece that I composed, kind of a, a you could call it sort of a tone poem called Bashir Me's More, and that means, you know, into celebration of song, and um, I'm very proud of. And so uh, so those are the two original pieces, and as Melissa said, I've added, I added some, a number of uh, parts to many of the tunes, and of course, then everyone brings their own creativity, because they, the, the improvisation really goes all over the place, from mm, okay. bluegrass to classical to... Jazz, swing to uh, Middle Eastern, to klezmer, to Hasidic. Um, so uh, I think that's it's a real treat for the listener. Uh, I I don't think people will get bored. I'm, I'm almost positive they won't. Yeah. Well, that's we, always our goal. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> well, because every, every exactly every tune is very unique, and and artists bring something. Um, special to it, so yeah. uh, we're very proud well, of that. Well, if I, you know, I just want to add that with the exception of one person in the ensemble, we're all Americans, and 
we grew up here and we have, um, you know, our musical frame of reference that comes from growing up in the United States. So right, right. Uh, you hear all those different elements is, you know, very specifically the people on this recording are not strictly uh, Eastern European or Middle Eastern musicians. I mean, we're, we're really heavily steeped in um, bluegrass and jazz and blues and, and um, Texas swing mm-hmm. and these yeah. other elements that are, are really distinctly American. So, you know, we can't separate our own identities. In, in fact, we wanted to celebrate our own identities um, in exploring this because I think that's a very American experience. Sure. I mean, yeah. this is you go you go to Europe, which I think, or you know, travel around the world, which I think more Americans, frankly, <laughs> should do. <laughs> and you know, you find yourself in a town sitting in a house that's about five hundred years older than your country, yeah. and you realize how much how young we are and how much we have to grow and, and, and learn about the many cultures that make us American. Yeah. I mean, unless you're Native American, your family came from somewhere else. Sure. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Um, where, did, where did the term broken consort come from? Consort? Yeah. How, how did that, how did that well, become the name of the, of the group? <laughs> right. Well, I was thinking. Um, you know, I was I was looking at the the uh, the ensemble that I had put together, and it was you know strings and plectrum instruments, and um, so I was just looking, you know, one of my books, and I you know to see what that uh, what is the musical term, and it's called the consort. Then I was re- reading further. Um, they said there's a term not often used, but was used in in the you know uh, Baroque period and, and then Renaissance period of classical music in in Europe mm-hmm. with the broken consort and and that just means so you here you have all these instruments are the same so you have the strings same family and, mm-hmm. same family and you have the plectrum which are strings too just played differently mm-hmm. than with the bow and what broke the the, the continuity was the voice. Mm, so really, okay. it's Elizabeth's voice. It's the, <laughs> yes, my destructive voice. <laughs> right, <laughs> the, broken, the broken voice, right. So, you know, I, it just kind of had a cool ring to it. Sure, you yeah. Know, what, you know, anybody who names it, a, 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 you know, anyone who gives a title to anything is always why, you know. Sometimes it's just simply because you, right, yeah. you, you like how it sounds. Yeah. And, but the, not only do I like the, the sound, but it, but it does define the ensemble uh, truthfully and accurately. Well, we also... You know, we were also attracted to sort of the implication of of breaking up something formal, yeah, and uh, being a little disruptive, um, injecting a little surprise into it. So it it just it, it it seemed like one of those moments where all the spheres came into alignment, and yeah. it, it was just yeah. the right name. Yeah. I mean, because some people will recognize a couple of the Hanukkah songs. I'm, I'm sure wherever they are, whether American Jews or Israelis or European Jews or whatever. Um, but as Elizabeth just said, but we, they're, they're, the melody is traditional, but that's all that's traditional about it because mm, okay. of how I arranged it and, and the improvisation. So there'll be a piece that you say, oh, I know this tune, all of a sudden, like, what? You know, a, a viola takes it out into left field and then yeah. in comes the oop. And takes it somewhere else. So that so we 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 certainly have broken the tradition on every single tune that's on this album. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I spent some time listening to it, and I, I really appreciate what you did with it. I, I'm not real familiar with um, that style of music, but I found it uh, fun to listen to, and I could feel the. Um, the Americana flavors sneaking in, and and the the different treatment of the string instruments, and and so I I I think that um, it it certainly lends itself to be um, uh, entertaining to a broader audience than just the the ethnic groups that uh, may know the songs you know as as they were, but um, uh, really um, wish you guys well with it. I, I think uh, in case we haven't mentioned the name, the name is uh, Shimmering Lights and. Um, folks can can get it now. Is it out already or not out yet? 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's, out, it's just out, and it's on the ARC, A-R-C label out of England, and they can, you know... Available yeah. wherever you would get a hard CD or yeah. stream yeah. it. Or, or stream it. <laughs> And yeah, if folks wanted like to other. learn more about uh, you, Yale, or the or the group itself, or your music, what's the best way to find you on the web? What's web addresses or all that uh, kind of good stuff? My name, uh, just, you know, Yale Strom, Y-A-L-E-S-T-R-O-M dot com. Great. And uh, emails there and all the information on what we're doing. And uh, my website will connect to Elizabeth's. Hers is... Um, Voice of Klezmer, all three words, V-O-I-C-E-O-F, Klezmer, K-L-E-Z-M-E-R, dot com. So either her website or my website, and they connect, and they can learn about, yeah, Yale Strom's Broken Concert, Shimmering Lights, and and, and other CDs that we've done previously, and and future recordings. This is not our last. Yeah, good. I'm already thinking new ones. Um, but we're very proud. I think you we're, just heard me knocking wood. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're yeah. Uh, we're proud of this one, and um, people who have heard it live uh, certainly have enjoyed it. And um, so we hope that all the listeners to this podcast will uh, go out and stream at least one tune, if not all ten tunes. Yeah, for sure. Well, well, thank you all very much. This has been uh, neat learning about it, and and uh, I feel like I got some history lesson along with it. So that's. Uh, always helpful too to to f- feel like I've learned something new from folks like you guys. So thank you very much, and we wish you the best with it. Thank you, Greg. Thanks. We'll keep in touch. Thank you so much for your efforts. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Americana Music Profiles. Find us on iTunes at Americana Music Profiles and on the internet at americanarhythm dot com.